News. Wave 3 News reporter Cedric Mayfield shows us talk started even earlier today at a coffee shop. Right, Cedra? Yeah, Don, ahead of the hearing, both city and state leaders met here at Smokey's Bean, not to break bread, not to share a cup of joe, but rather to share just who could benefit from the minimum wage increase. Turns out it may be different from who you think. Nestled in the heart of Old Louisville, Smokey's Bean is not your typical coffee shop. She's getting your drink. Uh, it's going to be 9.54. For starters, the employees don't make minimum wage. I pay 8.50 starts. And they're some of the only unionized baristas you'll find in all of the Commonwealth. It's supposed to be our buffer between us and the boss. A boss who wears many hats, owner, operator, and mom. I've got a bunch of kids. This is one of them. As a momager, Lee says it's important. Employers offer livable wages. The problem is too many people can't live on just minimum wage. Then there's a thing called the server's wage, which is two thirteen an hour plus tips. If you don't make tips, who can live on two thirteen an hour? Tuesday, she welcomed city and state leaders into her shop to discuss their next steps in raising the minimum wage locally. The Labor and Economic Development Committee will be having its first hearing on the ordinance. Under an ordinance proposed in part by District 1 Councilwoman Attica Scott, the per hour wage would increase from 720 5 to 1010 in Jefferson County over the next three years. Our next item of business is an ordinance relating to minimum wage. Those who stand to benefit the most might just surprise you. There are more workers over the age of 50 who would benefit from the ordinance than there are teenagers. Adults working mostly in food services or retail, mainly women, the majority of which already working full time. Some worried it drive prospective business outside county lines. Are they on an even playing field? With data released Tuesday suggesting otherwise, there is no impact on jobs. Many others are holding out hope. I'm hoping that that goes through. Now, as far as next steps, the local minimum wage ordinance is expected to be voted out of committee in October. Live in Old Louisville tonight, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News.